Greetings everyone, welcome to Just Advanced and this is a game from Friday Grand Swiss 2023 and this is a game from round 1, this is a game played between Yanchi Stududa and Oya Idani and this is one hell of a game and definitely just shows in these top games that how just one blunder, just one mistake can lead to devastating consequences against these top players and I'm not going to keep you waiting for long so without further ado let's start with this game. Stududa is with the white pieces and he starts with C4. And we have e6 by Idani, and we have knight to c3, but just d5. Going for that English opening, and here just going for this d4, just transposing to the queen's gambit, and we have this h6, but just going for this knight to f3, and we have knight to f6, and just going for this bishop to f4, just developing that bishop, and now we just see this bishop to d6. And now we see a trade of bishop, bishop captures, queen captures, and going for this early advancement with this c5. Definitely something that Duda must have prepared at home, and we have this queen to e7, but this is going for this e3. And now up castles, and now we have b4. And now even Duda is still waiting for castles, he's starting a devastating attack on the queen side and it's definitely going to be difficult to deal with that. But let's see how Idani deals with that. And now we have this c6, but just this bishop e2, just going for this a6. And now we have castles finally by Duda and now after knight bd7 we have this a4. And after e5, going for that central thrust, now not responding to any of that but playing this calm queen to c2. And now Duda allowed it, so here Idani goes for this e4, just pushing that pawn forward, attacking that knight, and now you have to move the knight, you cannot move it any way forward. So here just knight to d2, but just this but just this knight to h7. And now definitely, definitely what Idani has prepared in this position is he wants to push those pawns on the king side and start an attack while Duda will be attacking on the queen side, and it's just a matter of who's gonna win the race. And definitely Duda strikes first, he goes for this b5. And now Idani is not the one to be waiting, so here he goes for this f5. And here knight to b3 was played, but instead of this knight to b3, here what Duda could have done to have a better position in this position, instead of this knight to b3, instead what he could have gone for was this b captures. And only after b captures, now you play this a5. And after knight to g5, just going for the attack, you have this queen to a4. Just shifting all that momentum towards the queen side, now that pawn is under attack and followed by a rook will be under attack because the rooks are not connected. So here after queen to e6, Depending that pawn, you play this queen to a3, and only after queen to e8, now you go for this knight to a4, just getting the hold to that very nice b6 square, that would be a potentially amazing square for that knight, it would be very difficult to get that knight off, even if you trade, you get the very nice pass pawn, so I mean, you're gonna have a fantastic position, and even if you trade forward, you go for this f4, trying to start an attack on the king side, now you play this f3, and definitely seems like a weakening move, Playing this f3 you know that it's definitely not a good move and mostly start up a downfall but not in this position because if you go for this f captures now you play this queen captures and only after e captures everything gets traded off you see this tension between the queens so here after queen captures rook captures now you go for this bishop captures and yes you can grab that bishop but even if you get that trade the knights are amazing bishop is just a thorn in the position you can see that that bishop is not doing very much you're gonna have to develop this knight first get that bishop into the game the rooks are not connected that knight is an amazing piece on b6 it's gonna be a very much difficult position to deal with especially against duda but here duda actually missing all of that instead goes for this just knight to b3 and he has different plans and he's gonna execute them all and here just a5 and definitely a5 not really a good move and you'll see why and for all of those who can see it why just kudos to you you are spectacular players because here queen to d2 was played but now comes an even greater mistake by idani he goes for this g5 and definitely g5 might seem like a stronger move because you want to push those pawns you want to get that attack going but this g5 without calculating not that into deep into the position just misses one amazing tactic that Duda found on the board. So I'm gonna ask you to pause the video and find this amazing tactic that gives you a better position and potentially a winning position against Idani. While I give you a couple of seconds. So congratulations to everyone who's able to find this move and the move is actually this amazing night captures on you. But that knight can be grabbed but here you're gonna lose the exchange because here rook caps on a5 and here you get this beautiful knight captures on d5 and here after c captures now you go for this queen caps on a5 that rook is hanging on a5 i hope all of you saw that and here knight to d6 knight d2 f6 but you just get this queen to b6 and here after f4 now you can see that those pawns are a much too fast and a much too difficult to deal with and that attack is not happening the queen is not on the right square and it's gonna be difficult. Here just a5 was played by Duda, Duda is pushing those pawns and there's pretty much nothing that Idani can do about it. f3 just pushing that pawn because here only thing that Idani can hope for 
is maybe try and set up some sort of an attack and maybe trying to checkmate Duda but Duda is definitely not gonna let that happen Duda goes for this she captures an f3 and here finally getting that bishop into the game with this bishop to h3 and here a6 was paid but just this b captures an f3 and here bishop captures but thus this b captures and only after b captures now you go for this g4 and here Duda sees through Idani's bluff because there's actually no threat in the position and white is completely completely winning and here just queen to b7 was played but just this queen to e6 you definitely don't want to trade queens in this position and here after bishop to h1 now finally this knight to g5 was played but just this a7 and that pawn is unstoppable and here knight to f3 check but just this bishop captures and after g captures yes it definitely looks scary because that queen is definitely coming but here they still it's not a threat because here just queen to b8 just finally getting that queen because you cannot even capture that queen because there will be another queen and even if you go for this check that is definitely defended by that queen to g3 i hope every one of you saw that and here bishop caps on f1 was played but just this a8 queen and not even caring about capturing that bishop and even now it does not work because it is still protected by that queen and it was just on move 32 that poya idani resigned the game and here and just in round one of fide grand swiss duda got his first spectacular victory so yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll be coming up with another amazing game from Chess World and definitely a few amazing games from Predict Grand Chess as well. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you all.